Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. We are here in Florida and this is gonna be a very different video than anything we have ever filmed before. And it's one that I am super, super excited about because we are about to go inside to Aldi. Now, that may not be a big deal for some of you. Some of you guys may live in a place where this is part of like your normal life, normal routine. I have heard about Aldi for years and years. Sherry's been to Aldi, most of our friends have been to Aldi. I have never been to Aldi, so this is gonna be my very first Aldi experience and reaction. All right, Sherry, first question, got your mask. I do. Okay, I got mine as well. Now, you went to Aldi growing up in Indiana, right? Yes, but it's probably been 20 plus years since I've been. You have talked about really liking Aldi though. Yeah. Is there anything I should expect or I should like no before I go in for the first time. I don't think, I mean, it's a grocery store. Like, but is it like every other grocery store? Like why do you think people love Aldi? Like what is the Aldi? I think Aldi... it's a grocery store like wholesale prices. Okay, so that's like, why. It's cheaper at Aldi, I think. Okay, Auburn, uh -huh. anything I should know before I have uh, my first Aldi experience? I need, I actually know what this is. Also, why do you think people are like so obsessed with Aldi? I hear so many people just like rave about it. Um, it's good prices. It's a weird selection of random stuff. Okay. That you might be able to find somewhere else, but maybe not. I really like that, like the rented grocery store, grocery cart buggy thing, because there are no carts in the parking lot. That is really nice. That's my favorite part of the experience. So let's go and uh, get my first Aldi grocery cart. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Okay. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I put it in and then that, like a professional. Here we go, Aldi for the very first time. Okay, definitely has a different feel than most grocery stores. Kind of has a, I don't wanna say Costco warehouse kind of feel. The prices do look awesome. Ooh, I love those. Auburn introduced us to those, ooh, butter cookies. Yum. They have produce and stuff here. I actually didn't know that they had produce. Prices, especially compared to Alaska where we're from, are crazy good. While we're here, Auburn does have like a grocery list of things that we need. But look at this, like a bag of spinach, $1.29. Dozen eggs, 87 cents. Gallon of milk, $2.52. Our gallons of milk at home are like $3.99. This is one of the things I was the most excited about. I heard a lot about Aldi's cheese selection. You guys know I love cheese. And I actually do have to say, I'm pretty impressed by this. I mean, look at, they have a Irish cheddar, a whiskey business cheddar cheese, boozeberry and cheddar, a smoked Gouda. Oh my gosh, a cranberry white cheddar. This is great. And also the prices, again, I don't want to say this with everything I've seen here, but the prices are so good. I kind of want to get the whiskey business. So I think that one is gonna come with us. The cheese selection that I had heard so much about did not disappoint at all. Super impressed with this. Over here in the quick meals section, they have these pizzas that look really good. These are only $5.99. That pepperoni, like a combo, five cheese. The five cheese is only $4.99. That's insane. All right, now we're getting into the meat section. I was kind of curious about this to see what sort of meat they have here. 219 per pound for 73% ground beef. Okay, the 85 is 349. Good prices still. Over here we have boneless skinless chicken breast for $1.89 a pound. They have a better meat selection than I expected. Again, I didn't know necessarily what to expect here at Aldi, but they have more stuff than I expected and I just see a section now that um, I really like. Look at all of the wine they have here. And Sherry pointed out the most expensive wine that we see is actually $14.99. It's the red of the month. So the selection here is really, really great. That looks kind of cool. A petite cherry wine. Oh man. Christ Kindle Apple Punch. Okay, Aldi, I see you. Of course, over here, since we're just after Thanksgiving, you can see they have things like the potatoes, the stuffing mix, all the things that people would have needed for their Thanksgiving dinners. It looks like this might be the beer selection. Didn't know that they had alcohol in here. Not sure if every Aldi does or just some of them. Um, 
no brands that I think I've heard of before. But that's one of the things that I've noticed as we walk around the store is that there are some name brands, brands that I recognize, but then they have a lot of maybe like Aldi brands or brands they work with that uh, names that I haven't recognized. Aubrey just handed me this, a chili infused olive oil. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. You can see they have like whipped topping from Friendly Farms, basically Cool Whip, but again, not the name brand. And I take that back, I just found the Cool Whip, 99 cents if you want the name brand. Sherry, I think I need this. Elf <laughs> cereal, sweetened corn puffs with holiday tree marshmallows, <gasps> sugar cookie toast crunch. Why would they ruin cinnamon They're toast broken. crunch? Gross. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Of course, this is the holiday section. You can see lots of stuff for stockings, lots of Lifesavers gummies. Sherry gets one of those in her stocking every Christmas. Yes, Spoiler alert, Sherry. <laughs> This is cool. You can see we have a bunch of stuff here in our cart. Auburn is gonna be making dog food. Uh, I'm actually gonna link down below. She put a video up on her channel um, about the process she makes to make the dog food. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in what she's getting. Some of the things not for the dogs, like the cheese, like the cheese, like the cheese, like the cheese. Yeah, we love cheese. They do have a beer advent calendar. Actually, hold on. I think I need to let Auburn know about that. I just found a couple interesting things here. A hard seltzer advent calendar a beer advent calendar, a candle advent calendar. I love this stuff. This is really neat here in the advent calendar section. Uh, they have a frozen advent calendar and inside it has 24 different books. If you have kids, what a cool gift that is. Love that. And then the Paw Patrol advent calendar was on top of that. They actually have a lot bigger selection of stuff than I thought they did. Like I didn't know that they had like coats and basically like Snuggies and frozen little frozen dresses. Yeah, I had no clue they had stuff like this. This is a really nice chocolate section right here. Just lots of different chocolate bars. Ooh, dark roasted hazelnut. Yes, please. Look at the chocolate truffles. Peanut butter cups. What? Okay. This is kind of funny to me. It's like the most generic toilet paper I've ever seen. And look at those. They're like tiny little rolls. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. But how much is this? I don't know, I don't see a price anywhere. This is like the most generic thing though. This is actually kind of neat. It's a personal essentials kit. It's got a couple bottles of hand sanitizer. Looks like it's got some sanitizing wipes, got some masks in there. Of course, lots of hand sanitizer in stock. So one thing I just learned about here at Aldi, uh, you bring your reusable bags, but they don't bag them for you. So you basically bring your bags, and then here, kind of at the end, they have this little like table and you can just bag your own stuff right here. I will say, I would rather pay all the prices and have to bag my own groceries than pay like normal store prices and have that stuff done for you. Now, I think we're ready to go. So that was my first Aldi experience, but first there is something we need to do. Um, this goes right there, I guess. Is that right? <gasps> That was easy. My first ever Aldi experience done. Let's get in the vehicle and uh, let me give you my thoughts. All right, back in the vehicle. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Hi, Auburn. Hi. Um, let me give you my thoughts. My first ever Aldi experience. I will say, number one, I loved it. I actually understand why people like that store so much. If there was an Aldi near me, the way I would use Aldi is that it would be my first stop. If I had a grocery trip or like a grocery list, I'd do Aldi number one because they had a lot of stuff there and the stuff they had was like amazing prices. So if Aldi had it, I would buy it there. But then for all the other things that Aldi doesn't carry, I'd go to like our normal grocery store. Uh, prices here, it's also difficult because obviously prices in Alaska are higher. So I don't necessarily think that they were cheaper because it's Aldi. I think they're cheaper because it's Florida, not Alaska. <laughs> but Auburn, Aldi prices um, on other stuff, like compared to uh, other grocery stores here, Aldi's cheaper. Yeah. I could see that. The prices in there were awesome. Um, the produce is usually really, really fresh. I was surprised at the quality of the produce and the meat. Those were two things that surprised me. And for something that felt when we first walked in, almost like a, I don't know, it felt warehousey. And I don't want to say cheap, but when you first walk in, like that's kind of what you see are just like boxes of stuff. And then you get back to like the cheese section. And th then like they had that nice chocolate section. 
Those were things that I thought were great. So Aldi, uh, I thought was awesome. It was a good, fun first experience and I got cheese curds. So how could <laughs> that not be a good trip when I got cheese curds? So friends, thanks for joining me for my first ever Aldi experience. Uh, that was a ton of fun. I will be back to an Aldi some other time, hopefully. Bye friends, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Thanks for being a part of our community and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.